This is Bailey. This is his book house. Together they make Another game that I remember from my childhood. The book house is home to some letters, a typewriter, a shelf of books, unsurprisingly, a grandfather clock, a blue mistake, and King Bailey himself sitting at his throne. You'll notice that although we managed to find our way inside of this book house, there are no doors, which also means there's no escape. Hi, I'm Bailey. Come play in my book house. Well, hey, wait a minute, there's some windows over there. We can leave that way, right? Looks like we can choose between a happy, magical carnival land or a terrifying, peeping Tom clown who's peering into the house. Yeah, tough choice. It's a three-letter carnival. Yeah, more like it's a bunch of crap in the middle of a field. Even the music here is just sad. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, who could ever forget that number one Bailey's Bookhouse hit, It's Time to Die, Children. The three-letter carnival introduces children to short words, and it makes me realize that it's really hard to teach phonics without talking to someone like they're a giant idiot. Ham. H. A. M. H. A. M. Ham. The actual fun is over here, where we not only get to rhyme words, but also get to send animals and inanimate objects on a roller coaster. Please click something that rhymes with pup. I sure hope this dog and cup have a good time on that fun looking roller coaster. Pup, cup, pup, cup, pup, cup, pup, cup, pup, cup, cup, pup, cup. I'll just be here, waiting. All right, let's see what Creepo the Clown has for us. Here we learn about prepositions by commanding our slave dog Houdini to go in, over, behind, on, or under his doghouse. Go under the doghouse, Houdini. Then give the clown a taste of his own medicine in a game I like to call Houdini's Revenge. That's right, Creepo, it's time for you to face the groundhog. Since escape through windows apparently isn't possible, I guess we should check out the other activities inside, since we'll be stuck with them for the rest of our meaningless lives. We've got a computer, which sounds good until you realize that it's just one big giant lying machine. R. Rhinos roller skate. Uh-huh, sure they do. This machine is feeding us factually inaccurate animal positive propaganda, sure, but the real crime is the bait and switch it pulled with the keyboard. Like, fine, bees can ride buses now, okay, I'll bow down to our new animal overlords, but do you have to deprive me of my QWERTY? That's just cruel. Alright, let's see what this bookshelf is all about. You can make a story. Yes, we can make a story. Any story our minds can imagine. That is, of course, as long as it follows Bailey's list of pre-approved subjects and storylines. I made a story about a snake that hops on a magic carpet, rides it into space, and has a birthday party. Alone. At the grandfather clock, there's another rhyming game, where you can either make the same old rhymes we've been hearing for years, or you can go against the grain and make your own tradition-challenging rhymes. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is roaring. Roar! Freaking edgy, dude. All right, we can't put it off any longer. Let's see what this nightmare is all about. Let's make a friend. Oh yeah, sure, let's make a friend. I mean, who wouldn't want to hang out with this guy all the time? It's kind of like if you took Mr. Potato Head, made a knockoff of that, and then made a knockoff of that knockoff, and then scrapped the whole idea all together and just drew the ugliest thing you could think about. Please, click on the missing word that describes my friend's feet. I'm sorry, I don't see the word grotesque anywhere. This game must be broken. And so, those are our options for entertainment while we're being held captive here in Bailey's Bookhouse. 
And although we can't escape, we are able to write letters to friends and family. We can't reveal our location or send out a have a happy, someone save me, please get me out of this book house, please dear god, please day card. But any message to the outside is better than no message, right? And you know, if you're watching this video, then you've just been educated. If you ever get a mysterious, lifeless, joyless, have a happy day card in the mail, watch out. Someone you know may have just fallen victim to the endless purgatory that is Describes my friend's feet.